welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk to you guys about my marketing strategies. As a realtor, you kind of need to figure out how to market yourself, market your business, and market your listings. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I use to market myself, market my brand. I first use Canva. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of what that is. If you don't know what Canva is, Canva is an online platform that you can make presentations, print products, and social media posts. Canva is really easy to use. They have thousands of templates for any type of content that you need, whether it's print or digital. They have everything you need from Instagram posts to Facebook covers to YouTube thumbnails to a whole presentation if you're in school. I've been using Canva for basically everything that I do on my real estate stuff. If you've seen any of my stories um, or even posts that are more graphic -y looking, that's all using Canva. Really easy and simple to do. Let me know if you would like to see a video on how I use Canva, a little bit of a tutorial on me making a project. I'd love to make that for you. And so then you can also learn on how to use Canva as well for your business. Another thing that I use to market myself is TikTok. I know, TikTok. Everybody uses it, everybody talks about it, and guess what? It really is the hype for creators. It's a big place that has so much potential. There's so many different types of content that you can make, whether it's skits, throw in a dance, uh, giving tips, real estate tips, you can do anything that you can think of through TikTok. I highly recommend it. It is a little bit difficult to use in the beginning, but just like anything else, the more that you practice with it, the better that you'll get with it. And all you have to do is just start. So what I like to do to plan out some of my TikToks because sometimes I do have different waves of more content that I'm creating rather than other content that is kind of taking me a little bit more of a time to think of to then record. What I do to think of TikTok content is I will just scroll through TikTok just like everybody else and I will find all of these different sounds. You will see people doing skits all the time using different sounds and I will add those to my favorites. So when you add it to your favorites, when you go in to make a new TikTok, you can go under add a sound, select favorites, and you go through your favorites list and decide on which one you choose to use for your TikTok. The way that I think of my TikTok ideas is I pretty much do that and I go through an entire TikTok sitting and just think of all of different ideas that I could do with different sounds. And don't worry, if you have multiple ideas for one sound, do it. You never know which one's going to blow up. You really don't know which one is going to grab the attention through the algorithm and get you out there. All you want to do is just put your face out there. It'll automatically shoot out your content to people that know you and people in your contacts. And then as there's more engagement, obviously there is more audience and more potential through that. Another thing that I always do is through TikTok, you can also upload your TikTok directly to your Instagram. So I have my Instagram linked to my TikTok. So every TikTok that I post, it automatically posts to my Instagram as well. So then I get those Instagram reels too, because not everyone's using TikTok. People also use Instagram reels as well. So it's good to be on both platforms. You never know what you're gonna blow up on and you'll see your numbers rise. Obviously not in a blink of an eye, but gradually you'll see your numbers are going up. And that's really all you need to get your name out there. The next marketing strategy that I use is more in a personal level in my day-to-day -day life, in real life, and not out on social media. Let me introduce to you Popple. Popple is a digital business card. And I know, how does that work? What are you talking about? So Popple is basically this little circle. You pretty much just tap this little circle thing or your card against someone's smartphone and it'll detect it and it'll pull up an entire screen of all of your information. With this information, you can lead capture by asking for first name, email, and phone number. And then also you can have your contact being added to this person's cell phone, as well as having your social media links all linked into your Popple card. So you connect everything through an app. If you would like to save a little percentage 
on Popple, feel free. I will have the link down below. I think this is great, it's so convenient. So many girls in my office have this. My brother is a promoter, he uses this also. Um, it's a great tactic to have, especially if you need something quick and easy to have your phone number given to somebody else. Especially if you, know, you don't really carry around business cards with you or you might have ran out. At least you have a couple of backups. For me personally, I already have one on my phone, so I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. So it's just a little circle that sits on the bottom of my phone and then anybody that is looking for my contact and let's say I don't have a business card with me at the moment, I can directly tap my popple onto their smartphone and all of my contact information is automatically shared with them. That's just a bit of my marketing strategies. That's what I do to get my name out there, get my face out there, and get in more contact with people. Because remember, if you don't show yourself, nobody knows who you are, especially in the real estate world and in any business situation. So I hope that you guys learned something new and you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in my next one. Have a great one. Bye.